Hello, and welcome to another episode of Why We Can't Have Nice Things. So a couple of weeks ago, I was scrolling Facebook. Yes, I know Facebook is technically for old people now, but so what? And I came across an article that I can't for the life of me remember who published it. Anyway, it had a tagline that went something along the lines of, Simpsons star claims that recasting black character has affected the show. So naturally, me being the huge Simpsons fan that I am, I waited two working weeks before looking into this matter more deeply for myself. And honestly, what I found was truly shocking. Specifically, the fact that this story is four years old? What? I don't watch The Simpsons anymore, mostly because every season released after 2006 is hot trash. So I'm kind of out of the loop on stories like this unless the media decides to cover it. Now, for those of you who don't know what the tagline that I'm talking about is referring to, back in 2020, it was announced that Harry Shearer would be replaced by voice actor Kevin Michael Richardson for the role of Dr. Julius Hibbert after more than 30 years of voicing the character. This comes in the wake of Hank Azaria stepping down from voicing Apu Nahasa Pima Pedalong, which I also covered um, a couple of years ago. I hate Apu. I hate Apu. And because of that, I dislike The Simpsons. The whole series. Yeah. I love The Simpsons because... You hate yourself. What the hell is that? Well, there it is. The stupidest f***ing thing you'll hear all week. This all came about after a very small number of people decided to make their personal opinions everyone's problem. Thank you for coming! I'll see you in hell! Now, some people are very happy about this. Others, it would seem, are not. <laughs> Just look at these comments. But listen, don't let the internet tell you how to think. I'm gonna play two clips, one from the old season, one from the new season, one after the other, and you can decide for yourself who did it better. The results of your physical are very concerning. You're 80 pounds overweight. I wore my socks on the scale. And your cholesterol is sky high. Go big or go home. Oh, and your testosterone is just a little bit low. <gasps> testosterone? That's what fuels my punching and yelling. And my undeserved confidence. I'll never be an NFL quarterback slash international super spy. Oh. Don't worry. Low T is very common amongst men your age. It can be treated with a prescription drug called Vico Dude. Kill me up! But before I give you the drug, I just need you to watch this short informational video. Dr. Hibbert, you're a genius! That truck is exactly what I need! No, what you need is medication. Wrong again, Professor Killjoy. See you next year! Not if this John is right. <laughs> oh. Mr. Simpson, I'm afraid you've just had a mild heart attack. But I'm out of the woods now, right? I mean, whatever doesn't kill me can only make me stronger. Oh, no, quite the opposite. It's made you weak as a kitten. <laughs> Look! Hey, come on, quit it. Goochie, goochie, goo. Stop, please stop. Oh, you swing like a girl. Come on now. Please have mercy. Got your nose. <laughs> Not funny. How about this little bee? No. <laughs> oh. Remember your hippopotamus oath. Now, look, Mr. Richardson seemed like a very nice, very humble man. And this has nothing to do with him as a person or is any sort of comment on his um, talent or ability to voice roles or anything like that. The overall goal was to at least stay in the ballpark, you know, of Mr. Shearer's performance. So uh, I, I was just very fortunate to be asked to play the role, and, and which I must say about a year ago I declined. Uh, but I was asked again, and, you know, I, you know, just said yes. But I had no idea the impact it would have on, like, the fans and the, 
so many viewers, you know? So I'm just, I just want to have fun with it and play, you know, play around with it and just hopefully, you know, uh, just uh, evolve into that jolly, uh, you know, you know, socket that uh, <laughs> Mr. Shear had created, you know, and originated and performed so brilliantly well for the past 30 years, you know? So things are changing, but are you aware that you are part of that change? It didn't really uh, strike me till, <laughs> till you just said it. Um, you know, I, I, I've been in the business for uh, quite some time now, and it's just, uh, it's always been somewhat colorblind to us, you know, because there's, there's so many different varieties of nationalities uh, in voiceover. And, you know, you'll find, oh gosh, Asian playing black, black playing white, uh, adult women playing children. Uh, I myself playing a troll. I play a tree, for God's sakes, in <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, I, uh, so it's just this evolution that we're watching happen is 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 pretty remarkable. And I, I, I so when you say that, it's it is wonderful to be a part of that. The reality is, people just don't really like replacements, especially after so long. That's number one. Number two, like, why are we listening to people who, for the lack of a better description, are kind of mentally ill? I mean, th these people are dictating the social discourse for everyone. And they're a small minority of people. I don't really see anyone on here who really wants this. These kinds of changeovers have not gone well in the past. I mean, just look at what the response was when they changed Velma from the Scooby-Doo. Series. <laughs> and in researching this, I find out that they've also replaced the voice actor for the role of Carl Carlson? Am I so out of touch? What is happening? This is never going to end, is it? I mean, what is acting anyway? I mean, it's not like it's some kind of a craft or anything. And, you know, it's the audiences, isn't it? That they're the ones who know the ins and outs of the business, not those actually, you know, working in it. So a quote like this from Harry Shearer is just, just complete propaganda. And at this point, we should just shut down every single acting school, every performing arts center, because there's no point learning how to act now anymore, is there? When all we're allowed to do is play versions of ourselves. And now we're going to have to replace everybody who doesn't completely match the role. So, I don't know, um, a voice actor for Elmo. Well, you know, he's not a four-year-old red furry monster, so I guess he's got to go. And Danny DeVito, despite appearances, is actually not a real satyr, so he's got to be fired. And Ellen DeGeneres, you may or may not know this, but she's not really a tropical fish, so cancelled. I'm cancelled, you're cancelled, everyone is cancelled. See what you've done, Gen Z? You've ruined yet another good thing. This is why we can't have nice things. Oh, shudder!